Hello, Brenton with All of Octane here, and in this video, I'm going to open up some 2011 2012 Hot Wheels cars that were actually part of a box that I opened up quite a number of video videos ago at this point. So, if you, I will put that link in the description below, but that was a box given to me by a friend, and I am going to open up some of the cars that were in that box now, even though it's been months later at this point, maybe even a year at this point. But again, I'll put that video in the description below. I just realized I have two of the same car in this bunch. So I'm actually gonna pull this one out and I'm gonna swap in something else that was part of that was the Matchbox. So let's go ahead and get started with this. From 2011, we have the 57 Chevy. It's kind of cool to actually add this to the collection. Oh my goodness. I'm very good at dropping these things. There we go. A nice 57 Chevy, which is really cool. Back in 2011, we had a 70 Dodge Charger RT, which has kind of been the basis now for, oh my goodness, so many Fast and Furious vehicles. We've seen this in the premium lineup. We've seen this in the diorama set with the premium. We've seen it in a number of renditions in the main line with Fast and Furious packaging on it. Here is the start of it. I don't know if this was the original color, but it was a first edition in 2011, and this is in probably like a plum crazy purple would be my guess. Black all around on the back and the hood. This is a beefy vehicle, and I'm glad to add it to the collection. We've got Hot Wheels Code Car, Scion XB. You don't see a lot of these on the roads anymore, and I'm sure that code is long gone. And they definitely didn't do this justice. If if Hot Wheels and Toyota and Scion had probably done this better. Maybe it would have caught on a little better, but even in real life, it probably wasn't the best vehicle anyway. <laughs> so then we have a, again from 2011 new model, a Mini Cooper S Challenge. These are spicy little vehicles. They're a lot of fun. So there we go. Mini Cooper. And a couple of these had duplicates. So there was a duplicate of the Mini, there was a duplicate of the Chevelle, there was a duplicate of that Chevelle, and there was a duplicate of this Skyline, and then another Skyline. So we have a 2012 ZL1 2012. I don't know if I ever opened up a ZL1, and now I'm gonna open up two. I've got a red one here, and then there's a blue one over there. Man, the ZL1 was just such a cool car. It still is. I think I'd pick up one of these used, because I don't have a budget for anything. <laughs> My my wife and I, we were rear-ended and we're still trying to find a car. And it's just, that oh, cars are so expensive right now. So we've got a Camaro convertible concept. And that was, that's actually interesting that they left it at the concept for so long. I don't know when Camaro actually came out with their convertible. I know they were kind of, well, Dodge was kind of late to the game too. They were all late. Mustang definitely capitalized first with the, with the uh, 05 Mustang to kind of go retro style. We have the Dodge Challenger Drift, which was an awesome casting. Check that out. Good stuff. Can never go wrong with this casting, it's really cool. Next up we have from Muscle Mania, a 71 Dodge Charger. I think this was, uh, is it the Dodge? Yeah, it's a 71 Dodge Charger that burn notice. Michael Weston drives. Although his is black. And this is kind of like a teal color with the green rims. I actually really like this color. This is kind of like my real heyday because I remember a lot of those cars while I was in college. I bought where I, when I was in college from 07-ish to 2011-ish. And that's when I was kind of out on my own and buying my own stuff. 1964, Austin Healy or Austin Mini Cooper. And this is a Matchbox. Yeah, so I was, I mean, I obviously bought my own cars even in high school because I had a job and everything, but it's kind of fun to kind of go Hot Wheel Hunt on my own. So we've got a Chevelle 070 Chevelle convertible. And this has a faster than ever rims, which I know faster than ever rims are super desirable, but I don't really mind. Again, I'm opening them up. And I think the, the original coupe came out 99, I think, is when the coupe came out. I don't know when the convertible came out. These faster than ever wheels kind of, if you've seen the show Donk Master, that's what that reminds me of. 
Donk Master. All right, I watch a lot of Motor Trend. We've got 70 Pontiac GTO Judge, part of a 2011. Uh, I don't think it came out in 11 though. Maybe this particular one did a 70 Judge. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, because maybe 69 was before. I'll have to look into that. I don't know what these new models means. Maybe it's just recolors. Oh, that's a deep black interior. You can barely see that. All right, one of probably my anticipated favorites was the Honda S2000 in red. The card's actually not too bad, but it's not worth reselling to me. Reselling cars is hard. It's, it takes a lot of time. It's really frustrating. It's hard to broker deals. I'd rather just enjoy it. Rio Asada, RIP Rio Asada. But that's cool that this has it, his name on it. It's probably, I think it's the OG, if I'm not mistaken. It's really cool to add in the OG S2000 to the collection. Next up, we have an R34 Skyline with a package heavily damaged. There we go. I probably have this already opened, but I don't actually know if I do. That's why I'm opening it. I know for a fact I don't have this gold DeLorean, so this is kind of nice. Most of these cars I actually don't have. I know I have the Chevelle. That I know I have. I might have that Chevelle too, but I don't think I had the rest of the muscle cars. They were hard to hunt down in college. Although I did find good stuff in college. I got a couple treasure hunts and stuff like that. So this is kind of a satin gold. It's showing up brighter on camera than it is in person, but it's still a stunning model. I don't know if I have any DeLoreans opened. Maybe I do. We've got a 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. And this one's in purple. Man, this is a stunning color. I like this a lot. Kind of reminds me of the Woodward Dream Cruise. I went to that twice back in 2012, maybe? 2013? Such a good time. Woodward Dream Cruise was amazing. If you have a chance to go, I highly suggest it. We've got a 67 Chevelle SS 396. I might have this, but I might have it in a different color. Because Hot Wheels does a ton of recoloring. But yeah, look at that. Can't go wrong. Good stuff. Next up, we have a 66 Chevy Nova. It's in gray. Oh, man. I like the blue one. The blue with white interior is such a stunning car. But this might be my second favorite. This is a good-looking car. Kind of something maybe that was it Iron Resurrection would do. Joe Martin. This looks like a Joe Martin type car for sure. For sure. Chopped, lowered. He might have actually even lowered the roof line. But the graphics, the paint. Yeah, that looks like an Iron Resurrection car. We've got a Hot Wheels race team. 69 Pontiac GTO. Yeah, so it must have been a 69 because that other one was a different one. And this one is not a new model. So maybe that's what they always had is a 69. You guys will probably know better than me. Let me know in the comments. You guys are super smart and I love learning from you all. There we go. Sweet casting. Let's go ahead and open up the 64 Chevelle SS. I like the blower up top. This one came out not too long ago with like, it was green with orange flames. And I, it's just a really neat car. I like the blower out the top, the supercharger. This one's got chrome interior. Nice beefy back tires. That's the way to have them, a muscle car. Next up, we've got a faster than ever Volkswagen thing. Well, first Volkswagen Type 181. I, it's interesting that these are faster than ever rims. Um, huh. I don't remember those. I definitely remember the ones on the, sh the Chevelle. I think this top pulp is off. Yep. Of course, that's the first thing I do, right? <laughs> Rip the top off. <laughs> All right, there we go, though. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And I'll work on getting that top back on. Pretty simple. Snaps back on. Good to go. Last up is a 2012 Camaro ZL1. Really cool casting. I did find the Kroger. I think the Kroger one for that year was yellow, if I'm not mistaken. So there's a blue one, there's a red one, and I'm not really sure if it was that year or later on that there was a yellow one. Good stuff. And this one's cool, but it doesn't have the... 
I can't remember the ZL1. The ZL1 did not have the hole in the hood. That's just the ZR1 from the Corvette. But yeah, good stuff. Let me know which one your favorite was. What was your favorite time period of Hot Wheels? That's also a good thing. This is a good year of Hot Wheels. What's your favorite year? And until the next one, have a good one.